Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ and today I'm going to talk about Greenwood Bank. Now, if you're not familiar, Greenwood Bank is a completely online bank being promoted by Michael Rinder, also known as Killer Mike. He is an activist and a rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. It is also being promoted by former mayor and also activist Andrew Young from Atlanta, Georgia as well as Ryan Glover, who is the founder of Bounce TV, which is an African-American focused broadcast network. Greenwood Bank gets his name from a neighborhood in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is also more widely known as the location of Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street was one of the wealthiest neighborhoods for African-Americans in the early 1900s. And unfortunately, it's more famous for the tragedy that happened back in 1921 than it is for the wealth that was accumulated during that time. And so usually when you hear about Black Wall Street, it's usually talking about the tragedy that happened back in 1921 and not always focusing on the wealth that was built by African-Americans during that time period. So in Killer Mike, Andrew Young and Ryan Glover, they came together to promote this digital bank with a focus on the African-American and Latinx communities. And with the name Greenwood Bank, they use that to pay homage to Black Wall Street. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about Greenwood Bank, some of the philanthropic efforts that they're going through, and of course talk about the actual bank account itself and what you should expect from it and if it's maybe an option for you versus any other brick and mortar bank or other online banks just like Greenwood. And so let's first talk about some of the philanthropic efforts that are going to talk about and then I'll go into towards the end of the video to talk about the details that we currently know about as far as what's going to be available for a Greenwood Bank account. And so starting with the first philanthropic effort that they mentioned on our website, for every person that joins Greenwood Bank or signs up, they will donate the cost of five meals to families in need. And the specific company that they're going to use is a company called Gooder, who is also based out of Atlanta. And what Gooder does is that they go to local businesses and they give them the opportunity to donate some of their surplus food. And so if they have food that maybe it's going to expire soon, but it's not expired at the moment, but it's close to the date where maybe they won't be able to sell it and make money from it, they'll donate that food to Gooder and then Gooder will take it to families in need in the local area. Now this company states that there are about 72 billion pounds worth of food that goes to waste because they're either not able to sell it or they're not able to sell it in time. They have an over surplus. And so Gooder is trying to find a way to help to actually put those 72 billion pounds of food to waste and it goes to waste globally. In addition to this program, they'll also have an option for you to donate as part of a spare change roundup. And so when you use your Greenwood bank account, when you use the debit card, if you make a purchase and let's say you spend $10.52, they'll round that up the additional 48 cents to make an $11 purchase. And that 48 cents will then be donated to either UNCF, the NAACP, or to Gooder, as I just mentioned before. And so if you think of a spare change roundup program, a lot of people have heard of something like this with companies like Acorns and Stash. With Acorns and Stash, they use the roundup of your debit card purchases to then invest that money into the stock market. And so in, instead of investing your money into the stock market, that rounded up change will actually go to a charitable cause. However, I would assume that you know once this account is actually available, that you could actually do both at the same time. And so because Greenwood is gonna be rounding up your change, that's a separate transaction from what Acorns or Stash may do, you can actually do both at the same time. And so every single purchase that you make could go not only towards a charitable purpose, but also towards investing in your future. Now, another thing that they point out as far as a charitable program are small business grants. And so every week they're going to give away $10,000 worth of grants to small businesses that are either African American or Latinx. Currently there are no details as far as how you qualify for those grants. So I'm not sure if you have to be a Greenwood banking member or have to have an account, whether it's a personal account or if it's a business account. And I'll get into more details about that as well later. But it does state that at least one business per month will receive a $10,000 grant once their services are up and running. And so now to talk about the actual details of the bank account, or at least what is now currently publicly available. Now Greenwood Bank will be a completely online bank account, so you won't be able to go into a brick and mortar store. Now while it may start out as a completely online bank, there is the possibility that in the future it could be brick and mortar. But if that is something that you need or that you expect to happen for the future, I wouldn't 
open a bank account with that expectation. For now, you just expect that it's gonna be completely online and it will be that way for the foreseeable future. And not only that, but if you're a millennial or a Gen Z, or if you're in a younger generation, more than likely, you're probably only doing online banking services anyway. There are very few situations where I personally actually go into a brick and mortar bank. I do it as much as I can online. And even if I have an issue, I'm probably calling or I'm going online to chat. And so for me personally, not having a brick and mortar option doesn't really matter to me. But also if you have multiple bank accounts, maybe you could have one that's brick and mortar and you can have another that's online and then Greenwood Bank could be one of those options for you. And so the only physical option that you will have with Greenwood Bank is that if you do need to use an ATM, they do have a partner network so you can use an ATM to get cash and it, they won't charge you a fee as long as you use an ATM that's part of their partner network. And so some of the account highlights are that there are no fees for this bank account. You can also connect it to Apple Pay or Android Pay. You can do peer-to-peer -peer transfers. So if there's another person that has Greenwood bank account, you can transfer money back and forth between each other. You also have the option for mobile check deposit. So if you do receive a check as payment, you can just take a picture of it, upload it through the app, and then you can make that deposit. And of course you'll need that since they don't have actual brick and mortar places that you can go and deposit your check. And of course, one of the most important things is that they will be FDIC insured. And so that means your deposits into their bank account are insured by the government up to $250,000. Now to get into some more details that maybe Greenwood doesn't explicitly talk about, but technically Greenwood Bank is not a bank. But don't be alarmed, this isn't anything new. There are many banks or cash management accounts that are just like this. And so for example, one that I've talked about in the past is SoFi Money. They consider themselves a cash management account. They don't actually handle the deposits. They do all of the online servicing. They have the app. All they do is transfer the money that you deposit into your SoFi Money account, whether it's a direct deposit from a check or if you're doing a mobile deposit via a physical check, you take a picture, you upload it through the SoFi app and then your money goes into one of the partner banks that this company works with. And so another one, a very similar one, is T-Mobile Money. And so this is nothing new to say that Greenwood Bank isn't actually a bank themselves. What they do is they work with other banks to actually put your deposits in. And so if you're familiar with SoFi Money or T-Mobile Money or other similar cash management accounts, it works the same way. And in fact, in some ways, this is actually better because if they work with multiple partner banks, that means that each individual partner bank that they work with, that's an opportunity for you to have, if you have a lot of cash that you're gonna have in your account, you can actually have up to a million dollars in FDIC insurance because your $250,000 worth of insurance would be per bank. So it would be like if you open another bank with Bank of America and Chase and Fidelity, all of those individual bank accounts would all have their own FDIC insurance. And so services like Greenwood Bank or SoFi Money, they allow you to have your money technically with one bank through Greenwood, but since they're working with partner banks, you get the FDIC insurance for every bank that they work with. And so currently why you can't actually open a bank account today, there is a waiting list. And so if you wanna join the waiting list, I will have a referral link, which will be available below in the description, as well as the top comment below. And so once this is actually available to the public or once they send out those invites so you can actually open your account, it is expected to be available in January of 2021. And so if you use my referral link, both you and I will actually receive $10, which will be deposited in our Greenwood bank account once that actually becomes available. And if you invite others as well, you will receive $10 and whoever you invite, they will receive $10 as a referral fee. And so far I haven't actually mentioned what account types are actually gonna be available. And that's because there's very limited information that Greenwood has provided on their website. What they do say on their website is that you'll have a savings account as well as a spending account available. And so when they say spending account, I think of that just like a cash management account, like the examples that I use with SoFi Money and Samsung Money and T-Mobile Money. It's kind of a hybrid of a checking and a savings account because you'll usually get a higher interest rate that way. They don't mention anywhere on their website what type of interest rate they're gonna provide. They don't mention whether they're gonna have business accounts or they're, if they're not gonna have business accounts. Although they will donate grants to small businesses, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna actually have business accounts themselves. And so while I do think that they will take 
a similar approach to a company like SoFi. SoFi was a company that started out by giving student loans and doing student loan refinancing. And then they slowly moved into refinancing for homes and giving loans for homes, then moved into giving insurance. And then eventually they have now their own investment accounts, their own cash management account, which is a hybrid checking and savings account. And so they moved and they branched out into multiple financial type accounts. And so this is what I expect Greenwood Bank to do as well, especially from seeing their website and seeing some of the interviews where they talk about the Greenwood Bank, I do expect that they're going to have multiple types of financial accounts that are going to be available to you in the future. And so as soon as there is more information or as soon as those accounts are actually eligible and I receive the invite where I can actually open an account, I'll do an update to this video to talk more about what kind of interest rates they're providing for their checking or savings or if they have a cash management account as their actual account that you can open. And I'll give more details about that as soon as I have more information. And so given what we currently know about Greenwood Bank, all the features that I've gone over in this video, maybe you want to support or bank with black owned businesses. What do you think about the Greenwood Bank account? Is this something that you would want to try out and actually move the majority, if not all of your banking services? Or do you even care about any of that? As long as the services and the interest rates and all of that are better than or on par with other large banks or other online bank accounts. So let us know what you think about this in the comments below. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not already a part of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.